Hello, writers. Today, we're going to add to our grateful journals. Please make sure you have your journal and your pencil. If you need to pause the video to go get those items, please do so and meet me back here. And remember, anytime you need to pause the video, you can and then push play again when you're ready. Remember, to be grateful is to remember those positive things in our lives that we're thankful for. Today, we're, our focus is going to be on someone in our family that we are thankful for. That someone could live in your house with you or they can live out of your house. It is up to you who you want to write about. We're going to think about that person and then write about them. To help get us started, you might think about the person as someone who has helped you. Maybe this person cheers you up or maybe this person you just have a lot of fun with. I will go first. So I am very thankful for my son, Bryson. We had two pieces of furniture arrive at the house this week, and he helped us carry that furniture up the stairs and helped us put the furniture together. We could not have done it as fast without him. I am also very grateful for my mom. She calls me every day to make sure that we're doing okay and she cheers me up just with the funny things she says and just being able to speak to her warms my heart. Now it's your turn. When you think about the person you are thankful for in your family, name that person and tell us why you're thankful for them. Again, pause the video if you need to. Sometimes after we have thought about our writing, we forget what we said we wanted to write. So I'm going to show you a strategy that you can use in your writing to help you remember what you want to write. For every word you put on your paper, you're going to write a line or draw a line under where you're going to write that word. So watch me as I write what I say. First of all, I do have my entry three this is the third entry in our grateful journal so please write that up on your paper watch me as i draw the lines as i say what i want to write in my sentence i am thankful now thankful is a really big word so i know i'm going to need a larger line thankful for my son bryson and that's going to be my first sentence. So I'm going to put a period right there. And I'm going to write why I'm thankful for him. He helped carry, it's another big word, furniture up the stairs. Now that I have my lines, I'm going to point as I say my sentence again. I am thankful for my son, Bryson. He carried, ooh, that didn't make sense. I have to go back. He helped carry furniture up the stairs. Now I'm ready to write. So I'm going to write. Remember, as you begin your sentence, you need to start with a capital letter. I, and I is always capitalized because that is taking place of your name. I am thankful. And if you need help spelling a word, you can ask someone, but it's always good to write down your sounds. Thankful. I am thankful for, that's a high frequency word, my son Bryson. Now Bryson, this is his name, so he needs to capital B. I am thankful for my son Bryson. Now I'm beginning a new sentence, so I need to have a capital letter again. He helped 
elf. Now I know it's ed. Now ed sometimes says ed, sometimes says d, and sometimes says t. In this instance, it says t helped. He helped carry furniture. Another big word. Furniture. He helped carry furniture up the stairs. Stairs. Now that I have written my two sentences, I need to go back and reread to make sure it makes sense because sometimes my brain goes faster than my hand. I am thankful for my son, Bryson. He helped carry furniture up the stairs. Now I could go on and write about my mom as well. And you can write about more than one person if you want, but hopefully you get to use a strategy of underlining the words or putting a line on the paper for every word you want to write. Well, now it is your turn to write. So please get out your journal, write down entry three, and tell us who you are thankful for in your family. We'll see you next time.